Hey guys, Melissa here. Thanks for joining me on a Melissa moment. Um, so I thought I would take you guys along on this ride. I started here and I was like, wait a second, I need to share this with you. So uh, you've probably heard me talking with my renovations about this shower ring um, for our tub. It's rusted and looks horrible. Let me turn the camera around and show you what I'm talking about. Okay, we're gonna have a close up here, guys. Here's my shower ring. Okay, um, you can see all the rust and all the horribleness of it. Like the whole thing looks like this, you guys. It looks horrible. So, uh, can you see that? It's just brutal. So I'm going to um, be cleaning the rust off and then I'm gonna be painting it with some rust proof trim clad uh, spray paint in but I'm going to show you how I'm going to clean this. Okay, we're going to need a couple things. Let me turn the camera around and I'll show you what we're going to need. Okay, guys, first thing you're going to need, aluminum foil. Second thing you're going to need, white vinegar. I have got some white vinegar in this bowl. That's all that's in here is white vinegar. I have got my aluminum foil. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to rub this. I'm going to show you here. Hang on. I'm going to do this while I'm filming. So hopefully, hopefully I can get a good angle here. Hang on guys. Okay. So all I'm going to do is take this foil and I'm just going to rub. You don't even have to put much pressure. You're just going to rub. Sorry guys, I know I'm moving you around a lot. And then all you're gonna do is take some paper towel and it actually takes, look at that, right here. So I've got wasps around me now because I'm playing with vinegar. It actually takes, come on, screw off, wasp, screw off. Go have your own vinegar somewhere else. It takes it off right here, look at that. See how shiny that is? So I'm gonna do that if these wasps ever leave me alone. Can you see, there's a wasp hanging around guys. There, there he is, see? He's liking the vinegar. And they're very aggressive right now. So we're gonna do our best not to get stung. Although he's all over me. And we're gonna clean this. And when I get this done, I'm gonna come back and show you what it looks like. But just to remind you, okay, you can see I don't know if you can. There you go. All the rust. Okay, like it's everywhere. You guys see that? We were going to powder coat it, but they wanted like 300 bucks. I'm like, I'm not spending 300 bucks on powder coating. We're going to get all this rust off. We're going to make it beautiful. Then we're going to paint it. I'll come back and show you. Oh, sorry, guys. Got a wasp all over me. I'll come back and show you here. Oof, around. God damn. Okay, sorry, wasps driving me nuts. I'm gonna come back and show you once I get it clean, just some elbow grease. Be back soon. Hey guys, okay. This is not easy, <laughs> but it does work. Um, so this is taking me about an hour and a half. I didn't think, it didn't feel like it took that long, but it took that long. Um, so you saw the before, I'm gonna show you the after. Now, this is not even close to perfect, but I think you'll agree, it's pretty darn good. Here is the ring. It looks, I mean, there's a little bit still, but honestly, it's pretty good, you guys. It's pretty good. I'm pretty impressed with it. Um, and I've also done all these little pieces over here. You can see how shiny they are. Here's the paper towels and the tin foil I used. The ew vinegar. And a uh, pro tip, wear gloves because you guys check this out. <laughs> I didn't put these gloves on right away. Hang on, let me show you what my hands look like underneath. Hang on. They're not too bad, but you can see, I mean, and they're also kind of sweaty because they've been in gloves, but like around the nails, this hand's worse, you guys. 
ew. <laughs> I will be having a bath and scrubbing these nails tonight. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So you guys, gloves. Wear gloves. <laughs> okay, guys. So, um... It's pretty clean. I'm not going to waste any more time cleaning it. I wanted to get most of the rust off. Thankfully, everything on here was surface rust. I don't have any rust, like any holes. It hasn't gone that far. Um, it's just sur surface rust. So it's clean. Step two. Uh, well, I guess step three. Taking it down, step one. Cleaning it, step two. Step three, painting it. Um, so uh, a friend of ours was kind enough to give me use of his empty garage. So we will be going there uh, in a couple days and we will be putting a coat of paint on this baby and it's probably going to need a good two, maybe even three coats. We'll see. But stay tuned for that video. Thanks guys for checking this out. We will see you soon. Hey guys, Melissa here. Welcome to a Melissa moment. Um, I forgot to bring you with me. <laughs> um, we're painting the shower hoop and I actually started painting it yesterday. I'm sorry I did not film it because I'm using my contractor's garage and I didn't think about it. So let me turn the camera around and show you what it looks like. This is, uh, I just did the second coat on this side. So you know what it looked like before? It was just silver. So we've got the second coat on here now, all the pieces. Um, obviously, we're not done yet. We're gonna turn it over and do the other side, but it's looking pretty good. And this is what I've been using, just a gloss white trim clad rust paint. It's a two-in-one primer and paint. Uh, it's been doing pretty good. So yeah, um, I'm probably gonna come back later today, see if it's dry, turn it over, do a coat on the other side, probably come back tomorrow night, do another coat on the other side, and then Sunday, touch up anything that I missed. And then Monday, Tuesday should be good to install. So yeah, thanks for coming along and watching this. Sorry I missed filming yesterday, um, but it's been a oh, crazy week, you guys. <laughs> See you next time. Good morning, everyone. Melissa here with an update on my painting. So, did you realize that spray painting is not as easy as you would think? Here's a pro tip. Um, read the instructions on the can of paint. <laughs> so what happened was um, I had to go drive five hours yesterday to pick up my husband from his surgery. And when we got back, I'm like, I'm just going to swing back around and put another coat of paint on the shower hoop situation <laughs> and I did and I didn't film that part um, but I noticed when I got there some of it looked really great and some of it looked really bad like horribly bad and I'm like what happened so I did some research about what could possibly have gone wrong and apparently um <laughs> and it says read the can so I read the can and guess what guys, it says if you are applying a second cone of spray paint to do it after one hour or after 48 hours. Well, I was doing it about every 24 hours, which apparently, mm, no. So I guess what happened was because I wasn't doing it after an hour or after 48 hours, the new coat I put on chemically reacted with the first coat which made it look really bad. So I'm sitting outside Home Depot <sighs> because now I'm gonna go and buy some sandpaper to try to sand off the horrible bits and try to do it again. <laughs> and I'm running out of time, you guys. Um, our contractor is supposed to be installing this tomorrow. It's not ready. <sighs> so, and I don't, I mean, I'm, I'm spray painting it in his garage and it's a empty house right now. It's getting renovated. So I'm like, what do I do just for like, I literally have to paint it and wait an hour and paint it and then probably wait another hour and paint it. And I'm, I've got two sides to flip between. So really I should do that to one side, then give it 48 hours and then do the other side. But I don't have that time. The other thing is I'm probably just, it's the perfectionist in me that wants it to look perfect. 
And I'm also scared that my contractor friend is going to be judging my painting uh, skills. <laughs> but on the other hand, once it's up and the shower curtain's on, no one's really going to notice what it looks like. We just want it to look better than it did. And it definitely does look better. I just, my perfectionist in me is looking at it like, oh, that looks horrible. So I don't know, guys, this is an adventure. Um, I'll try to, uh, I didn't, I don't think I took any pictures. So I'll try to take a picture today before I sand it and uh, insert that picture in this video so you guys can kind of see what it looks like. So you guys, I'm not a professional. I'm just doing this myself and we make mistakes, right? That's how you learn. So hopefully my mistake um, helps someone out there when they're painting that they don't make the same mistake and they don't waste time like I did. <laughs> so anyway, heading into Home Depot, grabbing some sandpaper, heading over to Derek's, going to take pictures, sand it, paint it, wait an hour, repeat. So, um, that's your update. <laughs> Hopefully the next time I come back to you will be to show you the finished product. So, um, yeah. See you guys then. Bye.